Today I'm taking you on a tour of a unit that is not even listed online yet, but is going to be available for purchase and moving in end of spring, early summer. But not only am I gonna show you the model of this, I'm gonna take you to the construction site and show you the differences between their model and what they're doing in these two units, so stay tuned. So this is the major league by Sago Homes that I'm going to take you on a tour of. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna take you through both the construction site and go through some of the changes. By the way, the views are amazing. So stay tuned till the end for that to see the views. But it's gonna be a little bit of back and forth between the model home and how it was originally built and what they're actually doing. This particular unit is a four bedroom and it does have the option of having the elevator at this point. Um, they have the elevator shaft and what they're going to do is if somebody doesn't want to purchase with the elevator, then every floor where the elevator would have been is going to be closets. So just two things before I jump into the tour. First, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I've done tons of videos on Daybreak. So if you're interested in more of the community or anything, I'm gonna drop some links in the description of Daybreak as a community so you can see more about it. Second, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, that way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. These two major leagues that are coming up are going to be four bedroom units. As I mentioned, you don't have to do the elevator. You're going to see the elevator in the model home, but I will, again, I'll jump back and forth and kind of show you the differences with the elevator shaft in the model and then the closet space with the new construction that is currently being built that's going to be for sale. But as soon as you walk in, you're gonna have one bedroom and a three quarter bath. Now, right now in the model homes, they're using that as kind of a design center and it does not have the bathroom. But you can see here the construction site with the bedroom. It's all framed, so it's not quite finished yet. But you can use your imagination and see the bedroom and the three quarter bath area. Okay, so this is the downstairs bedroom. That will be your closet right here, there to there. And then this will be the bathroom. And it's the walk-in shower. And this is on the main floor. There's your front door and your garage is through that door. As you head upstairs, this is really going to be your main gathering area if you have guests over or just everyday living because you have your kitchen, your living room, and I wanna talk a little bit about the kitchen. Now, in this model home, I'm showing this to you so you can get a feel for what the unit looks like complete, what the finishes look like. But in the two new units, the kitchen is actually going to be an L shape. And you can see here, there's a window that faces west and that is where your kitchen sink is going to be. And then right off the kitchen, you do have a butler's pantry area and you have a half bath. So, Again, I talk about this on so many units. I can't stand when builders don't put a half bath in that main area for guests to use. And this particular one, you do have it. Now you will notice with the living room, between the living room and the kitchen, you do have an area for a dining room table. And it's a good size area because these units are long. So um, you can put a long table just like in the model home to kind of separate your living room and your kitchen. Now in the model home, they do have a deck off of the living room. And unfortunately, when I was in the um, construction site, the workers were right there, so I didn't get a good look at it, but I do believe there is still going to be this one deck 
off of the main living room area or technically the second floor of this home. Moving up to the third floor, this is where the bedrooms are located. So you are going to have your primary suite and in the model home, you can see the double doors that are an extra closet. Um, in the unit that is under construction, it's an elevator shaft, but you can also finish this as a second walk-in closet. And what I love about the change from the model home is that with the model home having the two double closet doors, you could never hang a TV or anything and lay in bed and watch TV direct on. Well, now they have the solid wall and you have two separate closet areas that you can get into and still be able to hang up a TV. From the primary bedroom, if you this would be the elevator shaft. If you were not to do an elevator, it would be one closet walk-in and then here's another closet otherwise this will be closed off and your elevator entrance would be here elevator primary bedroom You do also have two other bedrooms and a full bath that those two bedrooms will share on the other side of this floor. Now, I always have these grand ideas when I walk through houses and I said, if you don't need the bedroom space, I would honestly knock that wall down between the two units and make one big bedroom if you don't need to have a four bedroom house but that's just me that's just my mind and how i look at things to get bigger bedrooms now let's head up to the fourth floor or the sky deck now on this particular unit you do have a couple of changes in the model home they had two separate decks when you walked in one on each side of the finished space with the ones coming up they made that finished space much bigger. They have a deck space that's um, gonna be outdoors and it faces the East Mountains. Take a look at the view that you're going to have if you wanna sit outside and enjoy the deck um, when the weather is nice, of course. And these units always have the deck rated that you can put a hot tub on it. I love that they changed this to have a bigger area that is indoors on this fourth floor or the sky deck, because let's be honest, we're not always going to sit outside. So having that extra space to use either as a living room or an office space, the possibilities are endless. And they do have the electric fireplace that's going in on this fourth floor. And then to the left of the sliding glass doors, you can see it is meant for the elevator as of now. But again, if you don't want that elevator, you can turn it into a closet space. These two major leagues that are coming up are going to be very conveniently located. It was a little bit too windy to get the drone up, but you can see here the big open field that is off in the distance going to be downtown daybreak. So you are going to be very conveniently located to the whole heart of downtown daybreak, but you're also just down the street from the daybreak dog park. You're going to be about a half mile to Ochre Lake or Daybreak Lake. And then the new water course is just past that field over uh, Mountain View Corridor. It's about two and a half miles to get to the new Daybreak water course that is scheduled to open this year. I hope you enjoyed the tour today. If you want to take a look at any of these, you want to see what kind of colors are going to be finished, any information on it, reach out to me. I have all the details on it. If you're looking at making a real estate move, whether it's this unit or any other buying and selling, reach out to me. I am always here to help, but as always, make it a great day.